Let's compare spermatogenesis with oogenesis. Both processes start before birth, when embryonic germ cells differentiate into spermatogonia in the testis of a male, or oogonia in the ovary of a female. Both types of cells are diploid. However, whereas mitotic divisions continue to generate new spermatogonia in the male until death, in the female, the generation of more oogonia by mitosis halts well before birth. Although spermatogonia develop into primary spermatocytes throughout life in the male, in the female, some oogonia develop into primary oocytes, but only before birth. Males can continue to produce viable sperm from puberty until death, but females can produce viable eggs only from puberty until the supply of primary oocytes is depleted. Meiosis I does not begin until puberty in the testis of the male. Meiosis I begins before birth and ends at puberty in the ovary of the female. Meiosis II occurs within the testis at any time from puberty until death in the male. Meiosis II begins within the ovary only at ovulation in the female and ends within the oviduct upon fertilization by a sperm cell. The final result of spermatogenesis is four haploid sperm cells for each spermatogonium. In contrast, Oogenesis can result in one egg cell and two polar bodies for each oogonium, but only if fertilization has occurred.